progress report and what I've been doing. So as you've seen I belt sanded all this larch timber, all the horizontal larch, I'll strip out all that white paint and then I went over it with paint strip, paint strippers and uh, that got all the like, kind of residual white, the paint that was too low that I couldn't get with the belt sander. On this side I did like two different coats, starts peeling the layers of paint and then you can, I went at it with the with a spatula or with a scraper. It's not a patch, a scraper. And basically that just kind of scraped it all up. I'm gonna get it as best I can, because what I want to do is I want to keep this original timber and instead of painting it over white and kind of losing that original, that lovely kind of look that the timber has, I'll do a few coats of varnish and really kind of show it. Like I, there's going to be cushions or there's going to be some sort of like kind of bed kind of area here. You'll actually be able to see the timber when the cushions are out or all that kind of stuff. So just to kind of show it in its natural form, because it's really nice timber and to really show its, uh, its grain. On the horizontal timbers here, the horizontal mahogany, I've just been sanding that hand sanding that doing a rough kind of sand get off all the kind of old paint that's kind of flaking off on it and stuff that's where all the mold was originally I've done all this left hand side and then I'm going to probably put some sort of primer coat on and obviously the insulation is going to go on then after that but over here on the right hand side is what I'm doing next it'll definitely be worth, worth it in the end and it'll definitely sand to it so it's um it's work that's going to be beneficial let's see how long it's going to take it's currently eight o'clock Right guys, so it's 10 p.m. Got some solid work done. I got two sections done, this section and another section. Slow, tedious work. I can't get the belt sander at this stuff. It's just too confined, it's too tight and awkward. So that's why you gotta hand sand it. Like I said, it is gonna stand to it. As soon as we get, you know, primed and then get proper solid white paint on there, it's really gonna help treat this timber and it's really gonna help protect it as well. Tomorrow now, I'm going to probably get the last three sections just hand sanded, get those done, and then do a test varnish on the horizontal larch. That's tomorrow, I'm gonna head in, get some dinner, and call it a night. Start back at it early again tomorrow. Yesterday we got hit hard with a lot of rain. The dry spell of sunshine has ended unfortunately. It was nice to kind of get the, the wet timber kind of aired out and dried, but it, it kind of, you know, it's gotten hit with some rain there. Got a temporary rain cover over the boat, so that's gonna help and uh, that stopped a lot of the leaks. But there was still a bit of rain getting in where the deck leaks were and we couldn't get the cover over it fully or all that kind of stuff, so I cut out temporary cutouts that are fitted down into like the missing planks, the deck planks and all that. I might even just use like a silicon-based sealer and just run that in between, you know, all the gaps until we actually get the proper large timber or the large flooring or, or planking, the decking that's gonna go in there, uh, seal it up and help get the boat kind of dry and get all those areas that were getting wet dried out and uh, that's kind of the priority so then we can properly get the wood hardener in there and really seal it up and harden it. We have a pump in here in the bow temporarily and we're kind of on a daily basis we're pumping that out or whenever the water builds up the rainwater that gets into her. In the hull obviously where the, the biggest issue is and the, the biggest uh, repair job that has to be done 
is the mahogany diagonal timbers. So they have to be replaced. There's a few that have to be replaced and we also have to get some because there's obviously missing ones there. It has a, you know, a lot of dry rot there in the hole. At least it's, uh, it's above water level, so that's not an issue. Well, not, not so much an issue, it could be worse. I'm gonna put in a lot of wood hardener to really harden up that kind of damp timber, the stuff that we can't get at that's below water level. That'll solve that problem and then get paint on that. I mean, the wood is 100%, you know, all that hard mahogany is, it's intact, which is amazing, you know. 1940 and the wood is just 100% which is just incredible it goes to show you how how hard wood stands to itself you know that's pretty much it guys so far I'm gonna keep sanding <laughs> I finally got the last two and a half sections of paint sanded down. It's a little bit disheartening to see, you know, yesterday the rain kind of leaking in. The rainwater just leaks straight down and straight down into the builders in this little gap here. There's gaps in between where the, the oaks uprights, these oak uprights. These are oak and that's mahogany. It's nice to see it's just running straight down and then I'm just pumping that out daily. As soon as we get the, the proper cover over her, this is just a temporary cover. Um, we have one measure to size now, so get that over and then it's not going to be an issue anymore. As soon as I get the large decking timbers, I can cut those to length, I can run them off my templates that I've already done up the bow and then also have to route them because they're tongue and groove, they fit really, you know, they fit in snugly together. It's going to really assure a nice kind of join the waterproof sealer in between there and then you're guaranteed not to have any leaks. It'll be really beneficial, it'll be nice to see some, some real progress, so once you stop those leaks, start to get the boat dried out more and more over the next few weeks. So tomorrow now, what I'm gonna get done is I'm going to start sanding these. So I'm gonna get the belt sander at these. These are basically the straight kind of edges that go alongside the bench kind of area. Get them done all at once and it's just gonna save time. Probably get just a test piece on tomorrow. I didn't get any varnishing done today. It was just way too wet. Do a little test piece and see how it looks and decide if I'm actually gonna do the same white marine paint on the bench area on these large timber and I think the varnish is going to be what I'm going to go for because I mean it'll be really nice show the grain in this large because it's lovely wood um, and just do everything in sections because the main thing is just to do it as I go rather than start like a huge amount of work and then you'll just you won't see any progress and it'll be really disheartening that's definitely not what you want to do to do it in stages and that way I'm learning as I'm going as well and I can start kind of seeing progress and that'll keep me motivated as well today is Sunday the 14th and I didn't get as much as I would have liked to have gotten done today. The cover over the boat, my dad helped me get the cover over the boat, so that's gonna be a huge help. Already, like, there's no more water leaks getting in. It's just gonna be less, one less worry to, to actually worry about. At least I can continue getting work done while the boat is dry in the inside now. Up the bow, we got a new template kind of cover for the hatch. So that's just a lid basically for it. It was like a, a kind of, just a, a plywood sheet over it so that wasn't great. Also got some of the deck leaks fixed, well temporarily fixed. Got some new templates put down, so they were done today. So we got one or two of those fixed, basically just where there was missing planks again and where there was timbers that were just kind of, you know, starting to get rotten. I just got one of these kind of side decking planks, you know, these like, I guess they're, <laughs> that's kind of, that was a mistake. I just did a test varnish on the, on the small one that goes over on this side. And then I'll decide if I'm actually gonna go with white paint over the kind of bench area or if I'm gonna go with, um, with varnish. Apart from that, it's, uh, it's looking good so far. And uh, let's see what tomorrow brings. Thanks for watching guys. And uh, I hope you, you like this kind of new kind of filmmaking experience, I guess. It's a documentary style piece. Uh, in these episodes and I'm gonna try my best to document them as well as I can. It's kind of tricky at times trying to figure out where to put the camera and kind of get angles and try and not just shoot time lapses all the time. <laughs> they shoot some real footage as well so it's kind of a lot of it is just setting up on the tripod and and, uh, and filming so it's um, it's nice to see it falling into place so I hope you enjoy it. I know it's a little different to, to anything else I've kind of been doing. And um, if you really do like it, I hope you leave a like on, on the videos. It's a new experience, it's a lot of fun. And um, I definitely got my work cut out for me between uh, between filming and doing all this work. So it's, um, it, it's something new and it, it's gonna be fun. So uh, I hope you stick around for more guys. I appreciate the support so far, so thank you. Mm -hmm.